Carlton draft. This great what a player he was. Two-time All-Australian, Sydney BNF, Australian Football Hall of Fame, Premiership play for the Sydney Swans. He is an absolute champion. Michael O'Loughlin. Hello. Yeah. Hello. 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 Show. And it's obligatory that we start the show by rolling a package of highlights. And, mate, we have to leave Enjoy about this. 45 minutes of yours out. I mean, from oh, the geez. very earliest stage there's, of your career, where is the number young 38. Lad. Oh, it's a... I don't know what's going on. There's a wig on there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Skinny little swords. Look at that. Nice that did, you, did you find your feet really quickly in the game, Mick? Look like, at that. These are the early days. Did you feel comfortable at the level pretty quickly? Yeah, actually, do you know what? Like, the pre season was, was really difficult as a 17 year old getting to Sydney, but um, Look at that. as soon as I got Whee! there, and introduced to the, the, the footies came out, and obviously you had guys like Plager and Ruzi were there as well, and then obviously Look at this. unbelievable, unbelievable uh, role models. With Takes bounce, yep. sees goal. Probably could have passed that there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a... I mean, your ability look to... At this, look at this. That's just incredible. No, what, what's it going on? Uh, I don't know uh, what's what going on. Show either. the Richmond highlight. No, it comes no, up, no, it no, comes no, here's the Richmond moment. highlight. It's coming up soon. <laughs> your ability to lead blokes eating your dust was ridiculous. I mean, the way you sort of cruise through would-be tacklers. The rich one that comes up in a moment is a bit embarrassing. You might want to look away now. <laughs> this is actually insane, what you do to these tigers. That's Leon Cameron on the Leon. ground. He's got no idea. There's Joel oh. Bowden, Wayne Campbell. You'll leave. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Can I just say, that's not why people go to the footy. They don't want to see that kind of stuff. Yeah. You two, it must be... I mean, that's it's incredible. Great us, it's great for us to have you on the show, but it, it must be nice for you to be here on the night. You both are great mates, and yeah. you've been great mates since your first game. Yeah, I looked up to me. I was lucky enough to come over from Adelaide, and he took me under his wing, which was a bit dangerous back in the day. But um, <laughs> Actually, we did meet in a nightclub in Adelaide, remember? Heaven Nightclub. Oh, and yeah, I, I was just about to get drafted. Uh, yeah, I think you, yeah, you were telling everyone you'd just been drafted. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to Mick, would you like... Is that a... how he introduced himself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I thought this was guy was just hanging on. Just and I away, said mate. to Mick, would you like a drink? And how did I finish it off, Mick? Oh, like... anything on the top shelf. Sure, it's top. my shout. I've just been drafted. And in, and in, Ad <laughs> in, in Adelaide, that was Woodstock Bourbon. Uh. <laughs> so we just connected straight away. But he was... He, you, from the very first game. Yep. Yeah, you were together, weren't you? Well, Mick was out there. Uh, this was my first game. And Mick was out there supporting me as well. And I was... I don't know if I've told you this before, Mick, but I kicked five <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, um, there's Mickey there. The funny thing, Timmy, Elli the, Timmy Elliott, who I was standing at St Kilda, I remember this distinctly. Every time I kicked a goal, Mick would go up to him and get stuck into Tim Elliott and say, mate, this is this guy's first game and he's just kicked another goal on you. But then I'd kick so another... That's support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's support. But then I'd kick another goal and Mick would go up to him and go, mate, have a look how skinny Fitz he is. He's just kicked another goal on you. He, he ended up giving me more shit than he did Tim Elliott. That was his do, you remember, do you remember that? Or yeah, not? I think you kicked five. I think I kicked five and had 30. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> he took the Brownlow votes away from me. I didn't get any. Mick got three. Okay, okay. <laughs> let it go. Okay, <laughs> let it go, mate. That's, That's it. it. Now, where's it true? But when you started, you wanted to be drafted to Carlton. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. you not break down in tears when <laughs> you did not get? the nod to go to Carlton? Absolutely. Mad Carlton supporter blues, uh, you know, through and through at my house. And it's... Uh, i got very... to be honest, you dodged a bullet there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, 90, it was at the end of 94, uh, 94, so I didn't know how the draft worked. And uh, Shane Sullivan, I, still, I, I believe, still at Carlton. Yeah, uh, legend, legendary Great Carlton man. Great and man. Uh, he knocked on the door and, yeah. and basically just said, look, we're interested. I've been watching you for a long period of time, since you were 15, 16. And yeah. I don't usually say this, but if... Everything goes all right in the draft. We're going to take you at pick 41. And I was just doing cartwheels. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't believe it. I was going to go, you know, get drafted by Carlton. Sticks didn't know it. I was going to go live with him yeah. as a 7 year old <laughs> <laughs> uh, Absolutely. You're going to sleep. You're going to, you're going to sleep in bunk beds. <laughs> you're going to be on top. He's going to be, yeah. He was already out in the front. Just yeah. hadn't been drafted. Just yeah. at the foot end or something. Um, but it was amazing. It was incredible. And I had... Uh, so I just thought that was, that was how it was So you're telling be. everyone Carlton's going to pick me up? Carlton's yep. going to pick me up. Oh, you know, if right. everything goes according to plan, I had... I think it was the Brisbane Bears and the Melbourne Demons came. The Crows sent me a letter and they said fill out the attached uh, nomination form, but they forgot to put the nomination form there. Um, <laughs> Did they so, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my mum said, I don't think they want your son. Um, so when Swans so, uh, uh, read out your name, yeah, um, so did you break down? Did, did well, it, the draft obviously won too. Got uh, the, the, the priority guys there and got to the 20s, 30s, still hanging around in the draft. And I'm sort of sitting here going, come on, please pick 41. 41, 41, 41, 38, 39. Um, pick 40, Sydney Swans select Michael O'Loughlin. Oh. And I went, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I 
was, I just, the, the tears came down. I was devastated. I, I hated the Swans. Uh, uh, yeah, Great uh, way to start your career. Uh, <laughs> well, it was. It was you literally. Know, you could get a game with Carlton now if you, if you really wanted to. You probably head there. Oh, look, look I, absolutely devastated. Okay, so you're going to the Swans. You yeah. just saw my one of my first goals before. But can we talk about? Can you remember your first goal? Uh, three. Yeah, I kicked three on debut. So that was a. Yeah. That was a. a Against the Crows? Yeah, and, um, 1995. 1995, 1995 yeah. round five against the Crows. Have a look at Mick's first goal. Here. First goal. Um, it is it's a bit of a debate, though. Should it be Mick's goal or, or Derek Kickett's goal? <laughs> 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 You were good mates with DK. Oh, Did he no. say anything? Look at, look at, look at, that would be. You've cost him a car. <laughs> oh, oh no, I can't what believe were you it. Thinking? Oh no, I had to buy Derek forty-five pies after that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and That's a couple of beers. Did you get any internal fines for that? You should have been uh, fined. No, the but, that. Even no. the goal review system could have told <laughs> you. <laughs> so, get out of the way. so there's so many great stories about you. So you go up to Sydney, you, you, cop, your, you cop your lot, you're going to become a Sydney Swan, you go out there and play. Is it true that you were pretty homesick there yeah. and you might have given you a call back to your mum at one oh, stage and said, I oh. want to come home and she had some bad news for you? Absolutely. It was every day, three times, a, three times a day I was ringing home going, I'm coming home, yeah. coming home. And, and she said, no, mate, this is a great opportunity for you. Stay in Sydney and, and, and work through it. Yeah. So it was, that was, you know, great encouragement. By the sort of the end of the week, I've gone, no, no, I'll book my flight, mum. I'm, I'm on, a, on the next ANSET flight. You remember those guys? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I do. So, yeah. Good old days. Yeah, yeah the good old days. So. And, and, and I did sit. I and I said to mum, look, look, I'm on the flight. I'll be back home on Saturday. And she said, well, you can come back, but there's no bed for you. I've given it to wait till one of, your, one of your cousins. So, um, so uh, there was no bed to go back yeah. to. So great advice. My mum said that to me when I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even have anywhere to go. No, um, could have been anything about it. Yeah, he, he was a great player, Mickey. This <laughs> Mickey was a great uh, player. Mate. He got to play with some great players yeah. as well. Yep, absolutely. Uh, well, well, one of the greatest is Tony Lockett. If oh, not, yeah. we consider him possibly yeah. to be the greatest player of all time. Yeah. It was interesting to hear him his thoughts on you as a footballer. Uh, <laughs> after your, is this after the first game? It I was, think it is. Yeah, yep. Oh, wow. What about someone like Michael O'Loughlin, though? He's kicked four tonight. A bit of a goal sneak and very quick and you know, some of the smothers yeah, he smothered one of Cook's. Fantastic, offers. you know, he's just got loads of ability. He's uh, come on a lot quicker than what I thought he would. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <Blake. laughs> you, DK, That's one of the best backhanded compliments. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is one of the old yeah. ones. Oh. Right hey, you by the way, can I ask you, yeah. you're a friend of, of Tony Lockett's, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you think he would come on the show? <laughs> <laughs> no chance. <laughs> That's the third person. Yeah, it's a Nicky Winmar, yeah, Paul, yeah. Uh, Paul, Paul Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, no, you've yeah, you probably oh, didn't have to laugh, laugh before your answer then, Mick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we talk about probably the most iconic moment in football history is Tony Lockett's point to get you guys into the grand final, well, 1996. Not, not the most. Well, it was one of the biggest, Andy. Yeah, it, was. it was an unbelievable okay. moment. From yeah. about 60 metres out, um, and as soon as it come off his boot, Mick, you knew straight away. Now, if you have a look closely here, Mick was the first to get the plugger. Have a look at this. Now, <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> what, how good's that? Fit? What were you screaming out there, Mick, to each other? What was Jeez. happening at the bottom of that pack? Oh, I think it was about 19 at that stage, yeah. and just going, "We're in the grand final. We're in the grand final." And players going, "Get the f off me!" I've just. <laughs> <laughs> Because he, he had a sore groin, did he? <laughs> um, he's, he's, he's got 20 teammates. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, get the F off me, my groin, my groin. And I said, oh, oh I'll try. And then there's obviously a thousand people. On the, on the well, you usually give a high five. What were you doing to his groin? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the only great moment that you were part of with Tony Lockett. You were there, you were on the ground playing with him the day, kicked the 13th yeah. under. The this is extraordinary. 13th under uh, goal was amazing. Uh, yeah. One of the great uh, great days in Swans history. Do you remember where you were when this one went through? Yeah, on the bench, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Fitzy, you were part of the team back there. and uh, Yeah, well, I was on the oh, just behind the bench as well, injured, and we were told the directive from Rocket was no injured players run out into the ground. So, and as soon so as he what'd kicked, you do? So as soon as he kicked the goal, I just looked at everyone else and said, stuff this. <laughs> this is one of the greatest moments of all time. Jumped the fence, injured, ran out into the middle, and I started a plugger chant. Plugger! Plugger! <laughs>
<laughs> Rodney Eads saw me from the coach's box and berated me that week, Mick, if you can remember. Oh, there was plenty of berates that you got uh, yes. <laughs> berated a lot during that time in Sydney, but that was certainly one, and we that couldn't believe you did it biggest. either. A lot of people remember that occasion, and they remember exactly where they were when Plunkett kicked that 13th goal, including these two people at the ground, mm. uh, interviewed on the spot by Dipper. Thanks very much, Bruce. I'm with uh, Coley and Denise. Now, Coley, tell me exactly what had happened. Well, we were standing here waiting for that major mark goal. He came flying through the goal post, hit me fair on the top of the head, bounced off my head, kicked the knees in the face, and we were concussed. <laughs> 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 There's two people who have just been hit on the head and they are still making more sense than Dipper. So, i just put that to you. Yeah, the moments, you yeah, the moments you live for. Uh, 2000, let me take you back. I mean, I'm Come sure on, you never get sick it. of it. You're part of the history. There you are in the lineup. You knew what was in, in front of your team. You knew what South Melbourne and Sydney had been Look through. That. The, the length of the absence. What? What did it mean to be part of that, that day? Oh, look, incredible. Uh, the history of the South Melbourne Sydney Swans, uh, the, the club's been almost ex extinct, I guess, over, the, over, the, over a number of uh, yep. years. And to finally get that, uh, that premiership and, and, you know, for, the, for our fans uh, oh. who'd been through thick and thin. So Can we just amazing. look at the young fella just there, Mick? It, I think that's Ruzi's kid to the left there. Is that Ruzi's yeah, child? Uh, yep. I think it's yeah, young Dylan or Tyler, yeah. Yep. I spoke to a good friend of yours from uh, the Swans, Matty Nix. <laughs> Is it true <laughs> that you used to babysit Ruzi's kids back in the day? <laughs> yeah, back in the day. Um, we lived around the corner and, and obviously him and his uh, lovely wife, Tammy, would go out a, on, a, on a date night. So <laughs> he asked us to baby, babysit his kids one day. We Fed him full of chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, oh, and, well, uh, well, clearly he didn't have a no dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> when it came to babysitters, no, no, we didn't know what we were doing. So we were babies ourselves, pretty much. And yeah. um, uh, we were waiting. To, uh, obviously, Paul and, and Tammy came yeah, home, yeah. and we were actually waiting to get paid to, for looking after the kids. And, and, and Rizzy didn't pay us, and uh, still hasn't paid us. Uh, uh, what, what does that come under uh, the salary? Uh, <laughs> The goal, huh? So um, it was. Uh, it was interesting. Still waiting, and Ruzi, you, you know, you're on four million a year. Still hasn't paid. It still um, hasn't paid. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Hey, there's a lot more to talk to Michael or Lachlan about. We're going to do it on the other side yep. of the break. It is the front bar. Thanks to the brewery for Don't go anywhere. Thanks for